guys, Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves and you are enjoying the newness of this year. Okay, so before I get started, I do want to say I am not a financial advisor. I am not providing financial advice in any way. Always do your own research and make sure you are fully informed before you make any financial decisions. All right. Guys, I do uh, also want to say, uh, or rather, you know, give a big shout out to the HODL report and on the chain this morning, it was Jay, uh, Jeff and Chip, uh, great guys. We had a an awesome um, meet and greet there and, and a, a talk on, uh, you know, together also with XRP Carolina and a great, great time. Uh, make sure you guys go over and check them out. Uh, they are also uh, not not only, I, I believe, on YouTube, but also on Cinnamon and Coil as well. So uh, definitely make sure you check that out. Uh, we had a great, like I said, great talk and great topics. Um, yeah, yeah, you, you'll see what I'm talking about. Just, uh, hey, just go on over and check it out. Okay, so guys, as we can see here, not a whole lot of movement here. Um, we do have a little bit of upward, uh, you know, I guess momentum or whatever on XRP. It, last night it was just really hanging around 19.1944, uh, and we're up just a little bit from that. But likely we'll be back down around that that uh, area pretty soon. Now, uh, guys, actually this video is uh, more so going to be about another cryptocurrency I will make sure I uh, let you know in the uh, description I'm, I'm sure you, you guys have already picked it up but I've titled it appropriately so anyone who does not like what I'm about to, what I'm talking about um, you know it's your own fault you you chose to click on it so don't uh, get in and rant in the comments there okay so first off I will talk about XRP um, and Start starting with this. Uh, this was something that was provided. Uh, I think it was by uh, Chip from uh, on the on the chain, I believe. And anyway, it says Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong says 20s will see an uh, Anon coin go mainstream. Also, there was uh, another um, an, another article that he was talking about, and I did not grab it, but talking about nine. I think it was uh, something like nine million newbies. We're going to enter the space, which uh, and that's just uh, you know I guess in the 2020s is what they're saying. Um, now, very possible, uh, guys, that we will see some strong movement in the space this year. Uh, I think it's very possible, but again, I mean, <laughs> we we said the same thing about 2019. Um, it we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, of course. We always say the number one thing about this space is being patient. Uh, you know, this is a never before really seen uh, situation. I mean, and this is something new in finance. So um, we are going to definitely have to be careful about how we uh, move forward. Okay, I had to do a little pause there. Sorry about that. So uh, anyway, um, we're going to have to be, uh, you know, like I said, just very patient with this as we move forward anything could happen we could see something you know really quickly or uh, it could be this the slow and steady movement uh, I mean really who knows who knows um, I really feel as though this space is being uh, tightly controlled at this point uh, and and I'm not gonna go into that but that's something that I've uh, really felt um, since 2018 I think uh, that was just the kind of a ramping up uh, of the control but anyway, um, that's neither here nor there. We'll just have to be patient. Okay. Um, now, as far as uh, I'm just going to go ahead and move on. Yeah, I'm sure you guys get the uh, the 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 uh, idea here. Uh, let's see, where is it? Oh yeah, this is something I definitely did want to talk about. Data suggests inv investors are giving up on XRP. Could this fuel a parabolic rally? Now. Um, I think a lot of people definitely are getting exhausted 
with XRP and uh, the fact that it isn't moving, I don't think people are necessarily giving up. Okay, I know myself. I am a bit exhausted with uh, what's going on, but guys, I'm my um, my stash is going to stay where it is. You know, uh, I am definitely looking at other projects to invest in. Uh, I think there's a lot of potential, especially in one specifically, and I'm going to invest in it. I am not. Uh, you know, I, I am XRP loyal, but I am not an XRP maxi. You know, I'm not just going to sit here and just do or die with XRP because my main goal in this space is to make money. That's that's what I'm I'm doing. This this objective here is to change the lives of myself and my wife. OK, so we can do the things that we want to do so we can have the things in our lives and you know, help our families and all of that stuff. Okay, that's the main goal. I'm not here to make uh, Ripple or anybody rich. You know, I'm not here to just tout um, one particular project because I believe in the pro the the I'm sorry in the technology so much. Yes, I do believe in the technology, but uh, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, if it's not if it's not making me any money, what good is it? You know what I mean? I mean, the technology that I, that I am mostly uh, interested in when we're talking about that specific topic is what I use on a daily basis. My electronics that I am involved with, my computer, uh, the software that I use, the, the vehicle that I drive, okay? That's the technology that I'm most uh, interested in and that has a direct uh, uh, impact on my life, yet does not necessarily pay me anything, okay? Yes, I use some of those to facilitate, uh, you know, my um, my money making abilities. But uh, all in all, um, it is more tech focused when I, I mean, well, that's where I uh, mostly focus on the technology. OK, XRP is great. Uh, the fact that it is fast and all of that. But again, <laughs> hey, I'm more concerned about how much money is it going to make me now? I think. Uh, Definitely in the long term, we're, we're going to see some major, major things with it. But in the short term, I have turned my eye to another project. Now, this is something that I got involved with uh, a few months ago, several months ago, actually. I think it was towards the end of last year, maybe, you know, towards the beginning of this year, not this year. Uh, and I'm speaking about 2019, you know, early, we're early still 2020, so... Let me just rephrase that. So early 2019, late 2018 is when I uh, initially got involved. I do believe, if I remember correctly, and uh, I I got in. I think I made a little bit of profit, and uh, and I sold out. Okay, there was a lot of FUD uh, surrounding it, and really I was, you know, more so focusing on XRP simply because, you know, we all thought it was going to moon, right? But this particular project has already uh, doubled in you know in price and if I had stayed in at that time and spent uh, what uh, you know even a portion of what I put in XRP I could have made some very decent profit but what is this project you may ask well and I'm sure you can already guess it is casino coin okay now the reason why I got in, uh, in, uh, rather interested in this product, uh, project again is because of uh, uh, Rob Cash and DM Logic. I saw a couple of their posts on Twitter speaking about it, and it made me look at Casino Coin again. Now, when I first got involved with Casino Coin, I bought the coins. You can only get it on, uh, I think it was Stex or something like that. It was very, you know, pretty difficult. Uh, well, not difficult, but it was just uh, an obscure exchange, um, kind of you know, out on the you know outer bounds. Now I have uh, been able to get involved with it on BitTrue. Now BitTrue was, uh, you know, there was some questions surrounding BitTrue. I think uh, now I, you know, I'm pretty confident that they are definitely, uh, you know, good to go. I have no problems with them now. Um, and uh, yeah, so anyway, I am uh, using that platform to buy my casino coin. So um, is it a good investment? Well, 
would you have said that about XRP back in early 2017? Okay, I have said many times I was I got involved with XRP early 2017. I think it was uh, I think it either March between March and uh, I think May was when I got involved with it. Either way, whenever it was six tenths of a cent, that's when I bought it. Okay. I bought $15 worth, which gave me about 2,500 coins. And if I had just, <laughs> man, if I had spent even a fraction, just, I mean, even 10% of what I put into Bitcoin, uh, you know, if I put that into XRP at that time, I'd be a very, I'd be very well off at this point. Okay. The money that I lost in Bitcoin is just, uh, I mean, it still kind of baffles me this, even today. But it was because I did not do any research. And it's very, very important you do this, guys. Don't take anyone's advice on anything as far as doing the actual investing. You know, if someone is saying, hey, take a look at this project or that, do your research. Look at it, okay? Don't. Uh, just willy-nilly get into something without checking it out okay now like I said I'm saying that because I did that with Bitcoin not that Bitcoin was a bad investment uh, the platforms really is what uh, happened for me okay and and also I do have to say if I had done my research I would have uh, gotten involved with XRP much more heavily okay and stayed with it because like I said even if I had put uh, you know, a few thousand dollars into XRP back then, um, it would have, uh, you know, man, it would have given me a very, very nice return, okay, at that point. All right, so um, at this point in time, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Casino Coin. And again, I mean, if you don't like Casino Coin, if you're offended by anyone talking about Casino Coin, like I said, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, you know, it is what it is. I mean, we're <laughs> we're all out here trying to, you know, do what we can uh and 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 make some profits. I mean, that's that's what it's all about. So, um so looking here at the uh progress of it, let's go to all. Okay. So, of course, when Casino Coin uh initially came out, which was early 27 uh 2018 rather, it was at uh what? Uh was that point I was at point zero zero one seven um now I was told initially that uh, at some point in here it was at uh I think fifty cents if I'm not mistaken I, I'm not quite sure i I didn't follow it back then but either way um it looks like we are definitely heading to some um you know some at least some decent highs here um maybe a all-time high who knows uh, but the fact of the matter here is that if you if you look at the price here, we're at one tenth of a cent, right? It wouldn't take much money, five hundred dollars. Again, if you had put five hundred dollars into XRP back when it was six tenths of a cent, you would have a very very nice uh, pot of money right now. I mean, let's just be honest, okay? So the same thing with this particular project. Um, who knows where it can go? All right. It is a new company for the most part. Uh, they're gaining adoption. They're gaining uh, some some interest, and it's actually being used at this point. Um, there are several things uh, going on in the space. Uh, I want to definitely say was this uh, CS Cookie Monster. Um, he's you know you might want to check this out. Go to the Discord. Okay, check out the Discord. A lot of information going on. It looks like also here. Uh, uh, Cookie Monster has said the CEO and founder of Live LiveTree.com, a UK-based crowdfunding film and TV streaming service that has 22 uh, 220,000 subscribers, popped into the Casino Coin Discord a few weeks ago. They have a token on Ethereum now. SED announcement may be coming in the near future, but when you actually look at the uh, um, interactions here, uh, this is uh, actually turn. Turing, uh, um, as she says, she's the founder of Live Tree. Live Tree. Uh, and let's see, yeah, it says uh, she says here, looking forward to integrate the CS 
CSC wallet. Okay, so again, adoption is happening. And guys, see it, uh, Casino Coin is built on the XRP platform. Okay, so that means it can do everything uh, XRP can do the same transaction speed, the, the, uh, uh, the smart uh, contracts, I mean, all of that stuff. Okay, and not only that, there's only a 40 billion uh, casino coin or, or token supply. Okay, much lower, less than half of XRP. Okay, so even if um, we were to get to half of the, uh, let's say, half of the price of XRP at this point, which is around 10 cents, that is a very nice profit if you have a substantial amount of CSC, right? Uh, and it doesn't, it wouldn't take that much money to get there. $500 again could, I mean, it could get you a decent profit back. And I'm just saying, okay, I'm not saying, telling anybody to, uh, you know, any investing based on what I'm talking about. Again, do your research uh, and don't be afraid, okay? Uh, and, and I guess, you know, this is, this can be taken however you want to take it. But I mean, I'm not, and I'm again, I'm not telling you to do anything I'm saying. I'm just throwing this out there. This is my opinion. Do not, you can't be afraid to diversify. Any, uh, and, and yes, it's a, it's a great thing to be involved with a great company like Ripple and a great uh, uh, a coin like XRP. Okay, but. We know what's going on with XRP. I personally feel as though there's some heavy, heavy manipulation. I don't think uh, we're going to see XRP moving anywhere necessarily anytime soon. Now, I was, I was thinking that we were going to see something, but I mean, it's very possible it could be another year or two because of what's happening. Okay, and and when you're, I mean, there are too many variables uh, that I'm seeing that could hinder the movement of XRP. So in the meantime, and, and the same thing could happen with Casino Coin, but like I said, being that it is so new, uh, being that it is just starting out and, and you know, uh, I'm just now getting uh, partnerships and things like that, um, you know, anything could happen, guys. But I feel as though with the price being as low as it is, the volume being as low as it is, um, it, I mean, to me, only the sky is the limit. OK, that's that's the way I'm seeing it. And, and to be honest with you, my investment in Casino Coin is far lower than what I have in XRP. All right. When I initially invested in XRP, uh, it was a substantial amount of money. And now we are from the, the highest that I bought. We're less than half of, of what I uh, uh, paid for one token. OK, less than half. Uh, my, uh, you know, my uh, dollar cost average is much lower than what I bought it um, at its, you know, at my highest purchase price. But still, that's a, that, I mean, that's a huge uh, drop off in value. Okay. So am I, you know, giving up on XRP? Oh, absolutely not. Without a doubt. I am not giving up on XRP. But I am also not afraid to diversify, to look at other projects that I think are going somewhere. Look, you know, the gambling arena, the gaming arena is not just going to have one token involved. I mean, it, it just, I mean, guys, yeah, 90%, 90 some odd percent of the tokens out there are going to disappear. But there are definitely some gems out there. So we'll say even if it's 93% of the tokens that are currently in existence, you know, if they go away, that leaves 7% of the tokens still in existence. Okay, still there. So what does that mean? Any one of these could definitely take off just like XRP and it could happen a lot sooner is the way I'm looking at it. And I definitely believe that Casino Coin is one of those projects. I like the fact that they are not out there hyping up their, their token. Uh, there are some solid people on the team. If we go over here and look at, uh, you know, the team itself, you know, if you, if you research any of these people, uh, they are, I mean, it's a, hey, it's a solid team. You look at the board of trustees. Uh, we have 
Uh, where is he? No, it's not here. Board of Advisors. Yeah, Jeffrey Haas, who is the, the CIO uh, or Chief International Officer of DraftKings, which is a, a very successful platform as well. I mean, guys, it, it's something that's right in front of your face. You know, and there are other projects out there that's hot. Uh, you know, there's VET. I mean, it's not just going to be XRP. XRP could very well take off much later uh, or, you know, further down the road after some of these other projects take off. And with that possibly being the case, what's wrong with getting a little profit, taking some of that profit, investing it into XRP? And now you're sitting even better once XRP really does take off and do its thing. Okay. Now, again, these are just my opinions. This is not in any shape, form, or fashion any type of financial advice, guys. Just sharing what I think could be the case. Okay. Now, um, that's all I have for you. Just definitely want to say that I appreciate each and every one of you. I have enjoyed these last this last uh, like I think it's been a year and a half um, in this community in this you know on YouTube making videos with you guys doing the live stream um, hey I, I just really have enjoyed it I kind of want to do some different things I know I've said that <laughs> a few times but uh, what I want to start doing is uh, bringing some of you guys some of you uh, uh, some of you folks out there who are um, uh, you know, listeners or watchers um, or, you know, subscribers, I want to bring you, bring some of you on and we can have a discussion on the live stream. Uh, I, I think uh, it is very important for us to share I, our ideas and, and our thoughts um, and how we see things. I mean, it, there's always valuable information that we can each provide that you never know could tremendously help someone who is looking for it. Uh, you know, maybe just getting in or maybe who's been in the in the space for some time. OK, guys. So, like I said, that's my uh, plan uh, and I will definitely uh, definitely update you guys on, uh, you know, how I'm going to do that and all of that. So uh, that being said, guys, our, hey, again, I appreciate it. Come back and see me. Uh, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and the post notification button until next time. This has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourself and God bless.